And now it's 38 People's Favorite Podcast, The Customer's Always an Asshole. Reading your customer horror stories, here are your wine drinking buddies, Michelle and Melissa. Hi. Oh, hi. Um, hold on. There's music playing. <laughs> Hang on. Do you Where? hear that? You can't hear it? No. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Oh. It... Okay, there we go. I had I must have had an app open and it started playing and it was very heavy. heavy metal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what is it every time I talk to you? You're choking on your wine again? Um actually, I'm doing a snake bite tonight. What's that? Um, a cider and Guinness Ooh. because it's been sitting in the fridge since the beginning of football season, I think. Oh. Nick got him. Wow. Yeah. So I thought I'd, and uh, I'm on my second nice. and I'm not feeling quite as good as the wine makes me. Oh, I just, I'm having, I think I have a problem. <laughs> Ooh, what kind? Um, it's a cab. It's a Robert Hall cab. I don't know. It's nice. You're too fancy for me. Is it out of a box? No, <laughs> no, it's not in a box. <laughs> Is it a twist off? <laughs> <laughs> it's a twist. Uh, no, actually I had to use a corkscrew. Fancy. Oh yeah. As what can I say? Fuck. Mm-hmm. That's you. Okay. So tonight we're going to tackle the airport Mm -hmm. and airline passengers Mm -hmm. and I'm thinking oh it's not going to be as bad as like nasty hair stories or ticks and pubes and stuff like that and it's I was kind of right but I was kind of wrong too it's just as bad I wouldn't I don't know we'll have to do the scale the asshole scale later (laughs) is there any pussy boobs in this one no Fortunately, fresh out of pus boobs on the plane. Thank God. Yes. Thank God. All right. (laughs) Let's get into it. I want to hear about these airport assholes. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of them. I mean, I know. We're not like some jet setters, but we (laughs) fly. I think you probably flew flown more than I have. Um, I've flown a lot. And we've seen this stuff in the airport, but this is probably a little bit further than I, I, I have seen. So oh, man. I nice found man. some of these stories on cosmopolitan.com back in 2017. Wow. And wait, you so held it's... on to him? <laughs> Here's my magazine. <laughs> the pages what? are falling apart. <laughs> I didn't do all 16, but it's called the 16 craziest things flight attendants have ever seen. Okay. Okay. Number one, Uh I had a passenger that was already pretty drunk when he boarded the plane, maybe five or six hours into the San Francisco to Sydney flight. The guy comes to the back of the plane. Even though we have a lot of bathrooms on the flight, he starts peeing in the trash <gasps> bag hanging on the door, like where they dump all their, their garbage. Yeah. Oh, my God. We stopped him and brought him back to a seat. That's when we saw he had an open bottle of duty-free alcohol, and we realized he must have been getting more drunk during the flight. The rest of the flight, we were basically force-feeding him food and water and trying to get him to sleep. As for the bag of pee, we put it in the hazmat bag and locked it in one of the bathrooms for the rest of the flight. A total asshole. Yeah. So alcohol is a, a very common theme throughout all of these stories. And I, I kind of feel like, why do you guys have alcohol? Well, I mean, they're getting drunk in the airport too. So yeah, maybe yeah. it's time to cut all, do dry airports. Well, and I, this, I don't know, this may be wrong, but I thought I read somewhere or heard somewhere that, um, When you drink on an airplane, you can get Mm -hmm. buzzed or drunk a little bit easier because of the altitude. altitude. Is that real? Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe I'm making this up, but no, I think I read it or heard it somewhere. That's crazy. It the pressure or something. Yeah. That's and I heard bad things. I might have it in here about 
actually drinking bubbly, like beer is Mm -hmm. worse than drinking regular alcohol. That's regular alcohol (laughs) than drinking spirits. Spirits. That's insane. I I couldn't, I mean, could you imagine turning around and the dude's pissing behind you or like right there? No. What do you? (laughs) And see, these are, I was like, okay, I've seen some crazy shit. And then I'm like, okay, that I, I wouldn't even know what to do. Well, and I've never seen he, anything like that. Does he not get in trouble for that? Yeah. So some of these, they talk about how they call, but it's really what I've learned from all of these stories. It's really up to the flight attendants, men and women, mm-hmm. their discretion. Oh. They can choose to have you thrown off or have you arrested at the gate oh. solely on how they feel about the situation. Or they have solely on how their day had already started and if they're pissed yeah, off. Hopefully it it's not that. Yeah. Wow. But like if this guy didn't, then he had some amazing flight attendants. I'd say because that's like urinating in, is it considered public if you're on an airplane? Hmm. I mean, there's public around think, you. Yes. And decent, it's an decent, ex, de, indecent. indecent exposure. <laughs> Definitely in not and, decent whipping out the weenie right there and especially if it's small weenie and then you're like (laughs) dude i'm disappointed that's indecent if it's a little smoky (laughs) vienna sausage (laughs) okay so okay the next one i was working a flight to london and obviously these are the flight attendants talking Mm -hmm. i'm not working a flight to london although i wish i (laughs) I actually applied for a job at Southwest Airlines. Did you I went, did? I did when I was <laughs> 19, I think. I can't picture you being a flight attendant. Oh, my God. Thank God. I think they didn't someone pick me. would piss you off way too oh easily. God, like, don't <laughs> piss me off. Especially then. Like, I didn't have control of my anger. I was not on medication. You do not want to piss me off 30,000 feet in the air. You'd be the one sh- yelling, shut that baby up. <laughs> I can't stand the screen. I would be like <laughs> throwing myself out the window. Um, okay. So this flight attendant says, I was working a flight to London in business class, and there are these pods with pillows and blankets. A lady wandered up, and I knew something was off. She didn't look right. And then she crawls into bed with a man in one of the pods. He looks looks at me like, what is going on? I asked if he knew her, and he said no. I tell her she needs to go back to her seat, and she tells me that it is her seat. I ask her again if she can return to her seat, and she goes, I do what I want. (laughs) I think she was on Ambien because these kinds of situations tend to happen when people <gasps> take drugs like that. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, so I, I, I actually, I would believe that because I know people who have taken Ambien and it was like mm-hmm. a one and done because they were fucked up, like taking bicycle rides and didn't know it. Yeah. Leaving the ha- I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Oh, I was going to say, I've taken it and I, and nothing happened to me, but who knows? Who knows what I did? <laughs> Are you sure nothing happened to you? I know. I don't know. I heard people were like making sandwiches and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's why I gained so much weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that too. I've heard they like, you know, um, middle they of the eat, night, they, they leave the house, Drive. They, eat, they just, yeah, it's scary. Very scary. Oh my God. That poor guy. I mean. I'm sure he didn't hate that she jumped into bed, but still you'd be yeah, like, yeah, was she hot? Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Business class. He's like, oh, this kind of flight. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Flying Hooters airline. Get okay, me a happy so. ending. <laughs> or an Ambien. <laughs> or an Ambien. One of them. Yeah. Okay. So there was uh, this. Okay. So this next flight attendant says there was a, oh, and they, they call the flight attendants FAs. So I may get lazy because the beer may mm-hmm. start kicking in. Okay. And I might just say, this FA said, okay. there was a woman who got angry at me because we didn't serve her drinks fast enough. After she had her drink, she threw the empty cup at me, which hit me <gasps> in the nose. Then she broke down and said she didn't understand why I had been so mean to her because I didn't serve her drink fast enough. She said something along the lines of, you have no idea who I am. So my partner and I were like, who are you? And she just goes, mm-hmm. I'm a dancer. 
Oh my god, I would have slapped the bitch. <laughs> well, now hitting her in the note like that, I wonder if she actually did get um, taken off the like arrested off the plane because yeah, that's assault, brother. That that is assault. I'm a dancer. I don't give a, I'm fuck. a dancer. You're the fucking pope. You don't I think throw you're gonna need at someone. I know. It's rude. And a dancer for what? I don't know. Was she a rockette? Like that's a Hooters I mean, Airlines <laughs> dancer. She was probably a fucking cheerleader, pole dancer. I mean, no judgment. I more but you don't have to be an asshole. Dancers than I do cheerleaders. Sorry. Speaking of, there's a um, dancer that our neighbor hosted. She, I mean, I've seen like these pole dancer Olympics and stuff, which are very, <laughs> they're very impressive. I have to. <laughs> There she is. Her name is Tiffany Rose Pole Dancer. And her Instagram kept me, like, entertained for hours. Oh, my God. Yeah. She's just, it's, she's doing it in these knee-high boots with five-inch heels and bikini. I'm like, God, she gets waxed everywhere. I bet. <laughs> you could, the hustler movie the no so and i heard it was really good it was we rented it and um i was amazed by well you know jennifer Lopez has had to learn to pull the ants and do all that and i'm watching these girls and i'm thinking how are they not getting like pole burn like how is it not like mm, yeah like, it, do they loop that thing up and like i mean they're their leg muscles and like their core have to be insanely, oh my God, yeah, insanely strong. That's to, why to it should this. be considered like a sport. Like you have to yeah. have some serious skills and yeah, it's like art and but, exercise or art or whatever. Yeah, but I mean, it was the same. Like they were in you know either nothing or like you know g string or whatever, and it's like, and they're in these ginormous platform heels. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, holy shit, how are you doing this? It's insane. I mean, I gave him a lot of credit. I mean, it takes a lot of strength and courage to be able to do something like that. Yeah. I'm just saying. And I got invited to um, join some friends at a pole dancing class. And oh, I, I want to do that. It sounds fun. Absolutely not. Oh. I'm going to fall and break my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely walk a straight line in flats. So let's <laughs> let's not put me on something and spin me around. Oh, I would pay money to see that. But I would go like I would like to go and watch. Yeah, I think it would be fun to do. Yeah, I think it would be too. I would just need like harnesses and ropes and <laughs> medical insurance and maybe the EMTs on standby. Yes. You're so mean. You need to serve my drink fast enough. <laughs> hey, uh, fucking assholes. If she was drunk, drunk assholes. I think we should keep a tally. Drunk and um, drugs. Ambient. Drunk and drugs. Drunk and ambient. Okay. Okay. So this next one, speaking of this next one. F.A. says, a guy ran to the back of the plane and yelled, where are we? He was clearly drunk, and I tell him we're on a plane and that we just <laughs> left Dallas. <laughs> then he tells me <laughs> that he got on the wrong flight. I told him oh that he's been through security and his boarding pass has been checked multiple times. He is not on the wrong flight. But he was convinced that he was, and he didn't remember going through security or getting on a plane. It turned out that he had mixed alcohol with Ambien. What a fuckhead. So there's one, two, a twofer, a twofer. It's a twofer. Oh, people are fucking morons. I'm sorry. Yeah. America. It's a shame. Yeah. Y'all that, making uh, us look bad. Is this like the first time people are taking Ambien on and going on a plane? Like, shouldn't you? Is this the first time these people are flying? <laughs> Have you been is this first time out of the house? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Fucking morons. I would never attempt to 
take a sleeping pill, let alone mix it with alcohol, if I'm not going to be in the confinement of my own home? <laughs> Chain, chained to the bed. <laughs> let me loose in an airport. <laughs> you know, and if, pills you're, and... if you're by yourself, like, why would you be taking Ambien by yourself I in a know. plane? You don't know how that affects you. You don't have anybody watching you. Fuck. Jesus, people. Total assholes. assholes. And then these poor flight attendants have to be like, yeah, we're, we just left Dallas. Don't worry, sir. You are totally fine. Like, I'd be like, (laughs) get your fucking ass back in your seat right now. (laughs) You're still taking the plane. Okay. Mm. Okay. Here we go. Here's another, uh, Here's another one to add to the list. I saw a couple go into the bathroom and at some point the girlfriend came back to her seat and was freaking out and crying. I asked if she was okay. And her boyfriend said, oh, and she said her boyfriend was still in the bathroom, but nothing she said was making sense. We got her boyfriend back to the seat, but a little bit later they were back in there again in the bathroom again, and we can hear them having sex. Hmm. And a line started forming, so we needed to get them out of there. When they opened the door, we asked them if they had taken anything. It turns out they were both on ecstasy. Oh, my God. Again, why would you do ecstasy and get on a fucking airplane. plane? What is wrong with people? I don't, I don't know. And I, really, I don't think you can make this shit up either. What a fucking moron. Jesus Christ. So another one for drugs. Mm-hmm. Okay, so F.A. says, we were in the middle of boarding and this little, oh, this is a cute story. This little old lady, (laughs) kind of, this little old lady comes up to me in an absolute panic because she realized that she had left her teeth in the bathroom in the airport. (laughs) She was really upset because it was Thanksgiving and she was visiting her family. She needed her teeth to eat. (laughs) I spent 10 minutes talking to the captain and the people at the gate to try and locate her teeth. They were found eventually, but the plane had to leave. So we had to FedEx them to her. Imagine the FedEx people like <laughs> scanning that through. Oh my gosh. Oh, she wanted to eat lady. Thanksgiving dinner. They would have had to blend up her turkey, cranberry, mashed potatoes. Oh, that's so sad. But they that found them. So everything's fine. <laughs> it doesn't make her it doesn't make this little lady an asshole. She just No, lost that's her not an asshole. That was just yes. But they were in a bathroom, so I'm hoping she like thoroughly cleaned them yeah i would just and then they were fedexed and who had to touch them to put them in a fedex right i hope they put like (laughs) gloves on and put them in like a bag or something and included a note (laughs) found your teeth (laughs) happy eating happy thanksgiving (laughs) i wonder if she got them in time for thanksgiving (laughs) um (laughs) yeah i mean if she was flying there god i hope so she could have eaten Jello or something. She, she could have at least it. eaten. She could have had cranberry sauce. If you didn't have and mashed potatoes, anything, you could have gummed everything. For sure, turkey yeah. might be a little hard, but at least you mashed could just potatoes gnaw and... on that until your teeth come. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cute Poor little lady. A little old lady. But she was know, really fifty-two. Also, <laughs> don't take your fucking teeth out in the bathroom. Yeah, what are you doing taking your teeth out? I mean, you're not all innocent here. It is a little bit your fault, lady. There's so many questions with these. So the next one is, uh, I was on a flight from San Francisco to Tel Aviv, and it was in the middle of the night. A woman came to me, tell me that she woke up and the young adult male next to her was masturbating under the blanket. Oh, God. We went back to the seat and saw it happening. He actually finished into the blanket, which we threw away in a hazmat. To make things worse, he was also sitting next to his mom. We woke her up, and she scolded him and apologized to us. She didn't want him to get in trouble. How old was he? <laughs> his mom was with him? I, can, I don't feel right even reading that. I might cut that out. <laughs> like, yeah, that, that feels a little... There's a lot of things going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read the teeth again. Yeah, I don't know if we should discuss that in public. (laughs) Next. Uh, So, (laughs) the 
mindset face says, I was in the back of the plane during boarding because I was in charge of getting the galley together. Someone comes up to me and asks if she can have a glass of ice water. I told her I didn't have any ice broken up yet, but I could give her a normal cup of water. Then she goes, never mind. I'm allergic to water that doesn't have ice in it. <laughs> that is like a thousand percent <laughs> asshole. That's the most Probably somebody from thing LA. I've ever heard in my life. I know. What the fuck? I don't. Oh my I'm rereading God. it. Did I read that right? Yep. I am allergic to water that it doesn't, doesn't have, have ice, ice in it. it. I think I should have read it. Uh, never mind. I'm allergic to water that doesn't have ice in it. <laughs> With an upward inflection. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's it. So here's another wow. uh, along those lines. I was written up by a first class passenger because she asked for barbecue ribs without the barbecue during a meal service. And that isn't something we can do. We don't make the food on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody think that they do? We just put it in the oven and make it look pretty. I tried to explain to her that food was pre-made and I couldn't serve her barbecue ribs without the barbecue, but she was really upset. She then asked for my name and reported me to my supervisor. My supervisor said she understood. And that was that. I don't know if the supervisor said it to the FA or to the client or to the passenger, but wow. Do people really say stuff like that? Can I have barbecue ribs without the barbecue? I mean, I do know someone that ordered a cheeseburger without cheese. <laughs> so a hamburger. Right. <laughs> a, a virgin, a virgin hamburger. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to what this podcast is really about. Okay. Vaginas. Okay. <laughs> There was a lady in business class wearing a skirt suit and she fell asleep in her seat. The more she slouched, the higher the skirt went and she wasn't wearing any underwear. Her mm -hmm. vagina was in full view. So I got a blanket and discreetly put it on her lap. She woke up. She woke. She woke she up. <laughs> she, she, she got woke. She was and woke. looked at me like I was crazy. I walked away so I didn't see her face when she realized her whole vagina was out. <laughs> <sighs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> no. I do appreciate dressing up for the plane. Well, business class. You're probably going somewhere. Sure. You're probably going on a business trip. Why aren't you but wearing she, underwear? Can't you remember to put your vagina away, though? <laughs> so, Come on. We're going to have to check your vagina. <laughs> It's too big for this seat. <laughs> Would you like to buy your vagina another seat? Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, I can't. That's just... At this time, we ask all customers <laughs> to put their vaginas away until we've come to a safe landing. Please buckle your vaginas. <laughs> We're experiencing some heavy turbulence. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm laughing way more than I should, but something about it just is really funny to me. Yeah. These are all very visual for me. Uh-huh. Yeah. I can just Not picture it. Visualizing vaginas hanging out. Teeth left in the bathroom. <laughs> vaginas hanging out. Like Water with no knew? ice. I mean, God. Knew? <laughs> I was on a flight from Florida to London and a lady pooped herself. Instead Wait, of asking. You, is this you talk? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is not my story. Yeah. But this is the base. This is a, a basic foundation of the customer's always an <laughs> asshole. Okay. F.A. says, I was on the flight. I was, I was on a flight from Florida to London and a lady pooped herself. Instead of asking us for a blanket and to put her trousers and underwear in a bag, she decided to wash her underwear in the bathroom sink. Oh, God. While cleaning it, she clogged up the sink with the mess and just walked away and left it. We had to block off that toilet because it was such a mess. That's fucking gross. I would have taken, I, I would have cleaned myself up in the bathroom and flushed it 
out in the toilet so it just went out into the universe (laughs) yeah I, I, i mean was she sick? Did she just not get up fast enough? Like, there's so many things I want to know. Why yeah. would you just be an asshole and shit yourself right there? But to wash it in the bathroom sink, which is literally smaller than a plate. Right. Than, like, your cereal bowl. <laughs> and I don't know if everybody knows, but the plumbing on planes is not the same as, like, your home. <laughs> no. Don't wash your shitty shit (laughs) in the sink. (laughs) Shitty shit. You are nasty. Okay, so this is the last one that I I thoroughly enjoyed from Cosmopolitan. (laughs) Uh, This F.A. says, There was a passenger who took off his shoes and his feet smelled awful. It was so bad I wanted to throw up. The person who complained about his feet was actually two rows behind him. That's how Mm. bad the smell was. Then he put his feet up against the wall. He started clipping his toenails. Uh -uh. And that's when I asked him if he could do that in the bathroom because it was unsanitary for him to be doing that while we were delivering meals and drinks. Then he walked barefoot to the restroom to continue clipping his toenails. I was going to say fucking, but it's not in the article. That's disgusting. Yes. Now. I actually. Oh, go ahead. Do you follow passenger shaming? Me? On. Yes. No. Oh, my goodness. You need to get on Instagram right now. I'll hold. I am on it. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. What am I looking for? Passenger shaming. Well, this is fucking assholes on planes doing shit like this putting their feet up on people's chairs, clipping their toenails, walking around barefoot on a plane. Like I actually had that happen to me one time on a plane. Oh um, god, I thought you were going to say that you did it one time and I was <laughs> fuck no. I was going to hang up. No, there was like three <laughs> like teenage-ish girls sitting behind my row and she gets on the plane, makes herself comfortable, takes her socks and shoes off, and puts Ugh. her feet up in between on my armrest and proceeds Ugh. to fall asleep. What and did you do? Kept nudge, like, kept using my elbow to, like, nudge her feet. She finally yes. moved them. And I looked back at her twice. I don't even understand why you have to say anything. That's unacceptable. It is. You're just, I'm sorry, but you're a fucking asshole. And you are. Uh, total asshole for doing that yeah well no prepare yourself that that instagram account has a lot of uh, teeth (laughs) it has a lot of feet yeah Uh, i exactly how you explained i just found it and um there's a guy full-on naked with just a blanket covering his nuts yeah people like take up whole rows and get naked and like you're not at home. What is wrong no. with these people? You're in a yeah. public flying tube. Please tube. do <laughs> not tube. remove articles of clothing. No. The worst I have done is I have taken off my shoes when I have socks on. Because okay. of like my feet swelling. But if I had to go to the bathroom or walk around, I would yeah. put the shoes up. Well, that's fine. And I remember being on the plane at like nine years old. I'm total. I'm confessing because I don't want to be the asshole. But I was mm-hmm. nine years old, and I remember I took off my shoes to climb over people, <laughs> like because I was nine and I was like ten pounds, and I was able to climb on the armrest to get in onto the uh, alleyway. What is that called? Mm-hmm. The center aisle. <laughs> Yeah. To be able to walk back to like the bathroom. But that means I had my socks on in the bathroom. Oh my God. Cutting this. (laughs) I was nine. It's okay. You were nine. Nobody told you otherwise. Yeah. I was on the plane to Australia by myself. Give me a break. So this one's actually from December 30th, just last year. Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to you in so long. It's been over a year. (laughs) Dad jokes. Okay, I'm an idiot. I looked this up on December 30th, 2019. 
<laughs> the date on the article is from January 2019. Oh, uh, Newsweek. So these are legitimate, legitimate things that I'm looking up. I'm not finding some random sites. Mm-hmm. Uh, flight attendants share horror stories about nightmare passengers. And they interviewed these two flight attendants. And the one, one flight attendant says, a passenger on a flight to Manchester changed her tampon while sitting in her seat. She had no shame or dignity, then proceeded to hand over the used one to the crew as if it was an empty chip packet. But what's that? Um, like chip bag. Did I lose you? <laughs> I, I'm just speech. Honestly, I'm speechless right now. I know. How do you do that? That's revolting. You're, that, that's being more than an asshole. That's disgusting. Why would you do that? That's disgusting. Like, get your lazy ass up and go into the bathroom. Yeah. What's oh, wrong with you? And then handing me... it to somebody? Oh, that makes me want to vomit. That's. Fu- I know. My stomach just hurt. Uh, the other person that is interviewed in this says he recalled a time a man who probably had one too many drinks kept reaching into a cart full of dirty meal trays to eat food off of the plates oh by the way i printed these out this time so i wasn't trying to read my phone half half (laughs) three sheets to the wind God, I just, I swear my faith in the human race is just dwindling. I know. And it just gets worse. It keeps getting worse. Mortified if I was like with someone who is behaving that way. Assuming these people are alone. Yeah. You can only fly with a guardian (laughs) from now on. (laughs) I wonder if these people were, like, um, put on the no-fly list. That would be great. All they can do is ride those dirty trains now. Mm -hmm. Aside from the poor little lady that lost her teeth, the other stories are more like, I'd be like, we don't want your ass back on this plane. Yeah, you don't deserve to fly. You don't deserve to have the privilege Mm -mm. of flying. A, A task that is, like scientifically amazing and Mm -hmm. you're taking it and ruining it and ruining it for everybody around you okay so i only have like uh seven more pages left (laughs) (laughs) hey thanks for listening stay tuned for part two of airports alcohol ambient and assholes and a special bonus episode This is Melissa. And this is Michelle. Thanks for listening. Send your asshole stories to aholestories at gmail.com. Text or leave a message at 702-551-2011. Standard rate supply. And don't forget, don't be an asshole. Bye.